welcome back to the Rock Hound channel guys. This is part two. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do a from slab to cab. And today's feature stone is going to be a lapis lazuli. As you see here, a beautiful blue color. And uh, just a uh, volume warning folks. You might wanna turn down your volume. My saw is quite loud. And we're about to get started here in a little bit. So if you wanna pause the video at this moment, do so go ahead and adjust your volume and uh, we'll get started here in a little bit oh, oh we also have mr. Bransel over here working yeah, on his stuff he's got himself a beautiful jade over there yonder yeah and he's gonna be doing that here and he'll have that set up for you guys here in a short bit Let's get you right adjusted back up here again. There we go. Beautiful. All right. So here we go, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get started. Hopefully it doesn't get too misty over here for you. Try to bring it back so you don't get too, too much spray. Here we go. Get the right best picture of what? words. Next up is a 
mystery stone. I don't know what the heck it is. I just know it's one of a crystal. I found it at work. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. So again, guys, watch that volume on your phones or your TV. I wanna turn it down again. Here we go. Giving it a nice cross cut. And here we go.
uh, amethyst. I'm going to go ahead and do a cross section cut. So basically, just go ahead right there. Get that all set up. We're going to make that cabinet too. Here we go. Give it a try. I'll think. <laughs> Not too shabby. 
Not too bad. Very nice glass-like look to it when I come across the saw. And no troubles at all cutting. So we're going to go ahead and get these prepped up and ready for our lapidary machine. Be right back. Oh, look at that rain come on down out there. Oh, it's just never ending today. It's just crazy. It's a good day to be out here on the fast machine and the lapidary machine here. So we're going to get started here. Brantzel's going to go ahead and get on that 1200 grit. And I'm going to go ahead and switch over to 120, 125 or 150 grit on here. I'm not sure yet. We'll be right back. All right, guys. We are going to go ahead and get started. Um, only reason why you're seeing the strobe in is, unfortunately, <laughs> my headlamp is a little bit older than most headlamps. So it's got a little bit of a strobe action going on with the video. I need it for additional light today to get on uh, some of these corners, so please bear with me. So our first one is going to be this Lapis Lazuli. Look at that strain of gold in there. The pyrite gold. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to capture that today with this stone. We're at 180 grit, and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of this goofy feature that happened there in the corner after running the saw. So first and foremost, that's what we're going to take off. Lapis Lazuli is a very soft stone. This don't take much. Almost about gone off there. Pencil's cooking along with that 1200 grit. Let's take a look at your stone there, big guy. Yeah, I got that one's creation being a little bit of a brat. Oh, let's take a look here. <laughs> Not too bad. Ooh, you got some sparkle in there. I've been trying to rock the stone back and forth to get the like, shape a little bit better. And it's hard to do on it that one. It is hard. It's very hard to do. It's, uh, I started out some... doing, um, was it, a uh, roll ties and belt buckles before I started doing my... Yes, you did. He's my, got a bunch of job. bullseye <laughs> agate and some gorgeous carnelian agate. He's got some fluorite that he's done and a couple other good uh, ones that I'll show you guys um, after in the after video. And, uh, oh yeah, he's pretty damn good at what he does. So, um... Probably go ahead and start working this head right here, the tip. Yeah. Get that good and smoothed out, and then we'll rock you over to 3,000. All right, here we go. Because most of that other weird stuff that you're seeing is going to go away with the 3,000 grit. All right. All right, back to ours here. We're going to go ahead and start getting our initial shape that I want. As you see, I'm kind of thin on this side kind of chunky here that's what I wanted so we're gonna go ahead and give this profile probably a tear I think especially right where that that is it's gonna be really nice so here we go And I'm just slowly working the shape. That's all I want to do right now. Get some of these rough edges gone and start to preform. Get in there. Trying to get somewhere now. There we go. 
not trying to be super aggressive, just trying to get that initial shape. so far, I like the color. shine from here Brandon yeah. that's not bad at all oh get this goofy ass chair to work yeah. all right let's keep going man. got the stereations off from the saw. That always takes a while, especially with mine. It's a super aggressive saw. It's all our rounded corners here. We're going to go through all the stones on at the same time with the same plate, get them all set to go, and then we'll keep going as, as we go steadily up to the final polishes of every one. Nice creamy color. over hands. <clears throat> All right. Start doming this out. And when I do that is I rotate the stone. That's not how you see it. Those who have arthritis, they can already tell this is hell on my wrist. We're getting there. Slow but sure, still got some stereations in there. We're going to keep going on that. Ooh, got a bath going on over here. Bad at all getting there. Here's some more profiles so I can get my dome to come out.
I'm going to keep working it as I go. I'll be right back. So there's the lapis. It's about ready for the next set. So next one on the list. We're going to go ahead and give this border this, that beautiful amethyst. We're going to go ahead and give that a nice round to it and see what she looks like. No, you guys can't see it, but uh, there is some beautiful, uh, I've got some smoky quartz in there too. So that's going to be really nice in there. Hopefully it's in the middle here. We're going to see. All right, there's that amethyst. I'm going to go ahead and I'm satisfied with that shape. I've got most of the stereations in the rough out of there. So I'm where's the stone number three. Here we go. This guy is going to be our mystery stone. This one's going to take us a hot minute to get this to form. So, like I said, this is the one I found over at work. We're going to see what it does. Here we go. Surprisingly soft. about there. And then remember to go light. Remember to go light. It's the only one we got, brother. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. We'll get our stuff back the way we have it. Already seen a huge chunky crystals in there just with the little bits that I'm able to get up to show so that's nice starting to notice here as I look at the stone it appears to me like there's an awful lot of uh, glenna in it which is a lead base so that kind of is concerning to me that might be why it was so weighty so we might have to come back to this one either that or I'm gonna have to crush it because where there's glenna there may very well be uh, some gold in there so I think that's what I'm gonna do Brandon what do you think just go ahead and crush that booger since we're already seeing the uh, glenna yeah crush it yeah, that could be some free uh, free male gold sitting in this booger, so that'll be a nice one. But yeah, wow, that sucker's weighty. Well, that's fine. We're going to head off to the fourth stone, and we're going to go ahead and cut this one up. This is that mystery one, Chrysocola. I'm hoping it is, or some kind of real nice stone. So here we go. In this one, we're going to go ahead and do a technique called free and fascinating so you'll see that it's gonna be done up in a baguette cut so again all I'm gonna do is work my windows being sure that we're nice and straight This is really melty. Oh yeah, it's really nice and melty looking. Beautiful green color. That is incredible. Alright. Onward. Here's this little burger first. 
where we went and saw it a little bit. And we're not striving for perfection when it comes down to freehand fastening. It never was perfect back in the old days either. Look at ancient jewelry from way back in the day. You'll see that none of it looks perfect. How could they? They didn't have machines like this. something there we go Get that dome. Nice little square window right there. There we go, getting there. Go ahead and catch your faces here. Now again, I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bit of a dome. That way it polishes up nicely. Rocking it ever so slightly. Let's take a look. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, there's a glimpse of something in there. Not sure what, but it's, it's very glinty. windows here in a minute. Now we're just going to get around. I'll show you everything once it's all finished here. Right back. So there's that freehand facet bag out. We're all set for the next series of cuts. I'm going to take a short break here and uh, we'll come right back. All right, I'm going to show you guys what Brantzel uh, is all done over here. He's already set up to 3000s and took care of that business. I'm going to steal his light over here so yeah. we have good light. Look at that nasty orange yellow light. So that there is Jade, and we're going to go ahead, as you can see, he's already got a beautiful, nice glassy finish to it. He's got some spots as he's been seeing in there, and that actually, that little rough bit that's in there, will polish out with elk leather and tin oxide. So he doesn't have to worry too much about that. That'll actually come right up. Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with it. My first uh, teardrop. Yep. <laughs> He's getting there. Yeah. So right now I'm just taking a short break. Letting these machines cool down. We've been running now. For you guys, it seems like 36 minutes. We have been actually going at this for a total of three hours. Yeah. So I'll be right back here in just a bit. Uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and uh, probably do some maintenance. We gotta 
uh, drop our uh, waste buckets, get them dumped out, and then I think we're getting low on our water. We've been using quite a bit, so um, we'll be a little bit here, then we'll be back in action. So right now, Brantle's going ahead and starting all right, nice and slow with that. He's going to go ahead and polish up his with uh, tin oxide. We are going to wait for the lapidary machine um, so that I can go ahead and finish up and start the rest of the four stones that we did today. And uh, we'll see how well his goes. We had to stop and uh, fill up our tanks. Unfortunately, we were darn near empty on our water tank today. So, a lot of stonework. I've done a lot before uh, Bransel showed up. So, let me see what you got going on here. See that? It's glassing up real quick. Real nice and quick on there. Let me get the focus. <laughs> it's getting there. We'll get there. Right. Right. Nice firm grip on the sucker fish when we take off.
so far. Steal me some light over here, bring it forward. Not bad. It's getting there. So, <laughs> pop squat where you're at. Let me get rid of this trouble spot in here. I see it. Yeah. I see it. Let's see what we got going on here. Bring up our speed. Jade's a really hard one to work, so it's always careful with that. Too much water. Take it. this down and then press down pretty good and, then right in and I got a good grip on the sucker just like that okay don't be afraid to put a little bit more of that remember we're burning this off <laughs> I want to get rid of that we've had that for a long time
Darn near there. cut that's the stone's gonna be yeah so what I'm thinking what we'll do keep forgetting the arm rollers yeah we'll go ahead cut this a little bit wider yeah that way it gets rid of those saw points yeah I think that's gonna be so you think we're polished out polished out to our max right now Cut her down. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the next one and then turn off a lot. 
car. I get to go to. I'm thinking I'm going to go right straight to 600 grit on that one. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, it is now my turn on to the um, lapidary machine. So we're going to go ahead and start off with three thousands. I'm going to do all of the three stones that we have here. And we're going to go ahead and first start off with our lapis lazuli and go with that. Sorry for the line being where it's at. I can't really help it there. So here we go, guys. Now luckily all of these stones that we picked today, this including the amethyst, will actually do pretty well out of 3000s. We didn't need to take it all the way to through all the steps which would be from 180 grit all the way up to 3000s and then the facet 10000s. Softer stones, they are really nice and they just melt right on the 3000s. Real nice. take this one probably to ten thousands before I go to polish and okay, see how much more better that sucker gets. Now we're on our way to this weird mystery one and we're gonna give that a shot. There's that one. That one's all set for ten thousands as well. Let's we'll see how well that goes. I got my puppy out here and uh, pay a visit to us by day easy. Now onwards to our gorgeous uh, amethyst here. We're gonna get that going. Let's see how well she goes. Final stretch on the amethyst. Pretty gosh darn close. Let's see. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. A couple more finishing touches on there, and I'm gonna get it rolled down into it.
Not bad at all, actually. That actually is turning out beautiful, Brandon. That purple one, yeah. Man, look at this really turning out. And we're almost there, folks. Gonna be on my way to ten thousandths. And then we're gonna hit her with some leather and see what happens here. Alright guys, we're on our way to ten thousandths, so I will see you in a short bit guys. And here we go guys, the main event, second to the polish, now we're onwards to ten thousandths. First up is this uh, Chrysocola. Like glass. Yeah. That did well. to get that going here. Especially with the stronger one, the tougher one we're going to be doing here. Yeah. She likes the teardrop, I should have a teardrop. Almost there. There's one end. We're going to go ahead and get the rest of the windows here. of something in it. I don't know what that is. It's a bluish green. Whatever that is, it's a bluish green.
so rainy out there, folks. This would have been a horrible day to be out doing any kind of detecting, any kind of gold tanning. We would have been both so impressive. bigger ones in there the size of baseballs. Huge chunky veins and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Oh god yeah. That's, it's gonna be insane. A little bit right there on that edge. approach piece yeah. for sure but that amethyst would definitely be a approach piece. Oh, yeah. That's gonna do it for the lapis guys. We're gonna go ahead and head off to the amethyst. That's the next one. This is gonna turn the glass right quick. Careful not to lose this thing because I do, it's going to come back at me like a bullet, especially at this, uh, this point.
must have. Puppies are bugging my wife. Yes, Mr. Wrangler. Yes, Mr. Wrangler. You going to be out here by us. You goofball. Yeah, that's coming out just the way you were saying. Uh, dry rag space. <laughs> Guys, I've been sitting on this stuff for years. Had a lot of family stuff going on, and that, that kind of took my attention away from things. But normally, when you uh, on shitty days like this, we're out here doing the, exactly uh, what you're seeing here. We're, we're cutting stones <laughs> easily. <laughs> Easily. Either we're cabbing them or we're slabbing them or fastening them. In fact, you're going to have to grab that and set that up for four. Yep. Attack her four times. There it is. 535. 535. I didn't add your, uh, your, uh, tear up. No, so that, that made it 535. So we did add the tear up? We did not yet. Oh. So, we just didn't know. Okay. I had managed to add that fluoride that I did. Yeah. That was about as far as I got. As we have finally finished all four stones on the 10,000s here, we're going to go ahead and head up to the uh, leather polish and give this one final once over 
and you guys will see them here in just a second. Here we go. The main event.
Don't mind that white mark. We're going to go ahead and wash and clean that out. That's almost about finished now. As we speak, I got a couple spots on the edges, and that's going to be done. four slabs all set right here absolute beautiful lapis lazuli our jade which we're going to have to take back down get rid of this little blemish our beautiful chrysocolla which really really came out nice 
get in here and zoomed in a little bit better. There we go. Looking really good. I just can't get over that lapis. Absolutely stunning. And then, last but not least, our gorgeous amethyst. Really came out nice. We're going to give these a bath and then set these all up. And uh, they'll be uh, ready for eyes and be hung on uh, necklaces here relatively soon. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a like and a thumbs up. And until the next episode, guys, this is William and Brando with the Rockhound Channel saying, stay hungry.